You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Hey guys, I'm Justin DeJesus. Hey, what's up? I'm Tony Kapari. And my name is Christopher Millison. And you're watching Popcorn and Joysticks. And we are here for our review and re- Well, we already did the reaction, so it's just True. a review. Just a review. True. Um, but it's for uh, Sing Me a Song. It's episode you're the seven. the piano man. <laughs> Sing me a song when I come. That's my jam. And it's <laughs> sad and it's sweet. And I look at your teeth. <laughs> let's, let's move on. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> let's move. He said, I sit to that. All right. So let's start with this episode was a hundred freaking million times better than the last three episodes yes. combined. Mm -hmm. Let's Amen. start there. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hey, Praise you, Holy Way better. Way better. Way better. Way better. And so yeah. much happened. So much happened. When we watched the next story, we figured out, and I remembered, so much shit was set up in this episode. So much so that I did not realize it, and I'm like, Mind blowing. Yeah. Mind fucking blowing. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, we didn't realize it was all going to lead us into next week. Well, I mean, we should have realized that, but we didn't. <laughs> we did not understand that it was all going to lead into mm -hmm. next week, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of things set up in this episode. Mm -hmm. so. Dude, this whole, this Stockholm Syndrome with Carl and Negan? Oh, boy. <laughs> what in the shit? And then to end it, Negan is cradling Judith, yeah. and Carl's just chill. He's just sitting there. Yeah. But do you think that Carl's waiting for his dad? I don't know. I, he's probably like, Dad, where the fuck are you? I really like, don't know. <laughs> or do you think he's just like, fuck this whole, I'm not shit, I'm not waiting for my Carl, dad, I'm about to do the damn Carl thing. Carl started this episode with some cojones. Yeah, he sure And then did. he became a little We bitch. were very, very proud. I, he never became a bitch. Let me stop you Yes, right he there. did. I disagree. I disagree. I'm you are why. my disagree. He's the reason why they're there now, though. Or is he pulling a fucking uh, Carol? Thank you. Is he Thank you. You literally just took the words out of my mouth. He okay. is doing what he's got to do. Maybe okay. he wanted Negan to be on their turf. Mm. Just Negan alone. There's nobody mm. fucking with him. Yes, they are. Through. They open that fucking gate. You see all the motherfucking uh, people. Right, the trucks. And a couple motherfuckers. Not a hundred. Mm. True. It's a couple people that people in Alexandria could take. I hope. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. They're not, they got me on my toes this week. I yeah. hope. All I know is that we saw so much, and it's crazy. Now we have Jesus that broke out, Daryl. We have or he's breaking out, Daryl. Or breaking out, that's true. Um, and then we have Negan that's now in Alexandria because of the fucked up shit that Carl was fucking playing. I don't know. What. And my, let me just say, my girl Michonne beating that girl oh, and then, yes. up against the goddamn stairwell. Pat, 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 pat. Oh, I was like, God. oh. <laughs> Numero tres yeah. was about Michonne. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yes. I was like, yes. Yes, yes. And then Thank God. we have this whole Rosita make me a fucking bullet type shit. Like, I'm not so sure about the Rosita situation. I either feel like she's going to just fuck some situation up, like where they're, the situation's going to be cool and she's going to come in and fuck it up and make mm -hmm. it not cool anymore. Oh. Or she's going to be the one to take out Megan. I can't see it being Rosita taking out Megan. I just don't see it being her. Mm. I think it needs to be Rick. I don't know what she planned. Well, it definitely needs to be Rick. But will it be? After everything we've seen, mm -hmm. if it ain't Rick, that's going to be very disappointing. I also th believe that Maggie needs to be a part of that. Um, yeah, Maggie. I miss Maggie this one. And even um, Rosita and uh, Sasha. To be, if they don't die, then, then they need to be a part of whooping his ass. They need to be part of the revolution. Yeah, either really kill them right. or have them be a part of it. Either because take them out of the character lineup. They deserve yeah, it, in my I opinion. Agree. They deserve it. Yeah, I agree. Spencer still needs to go. I yeah. just want to say that. Yes, Spencer, he does. Spencer is trying to cause agree. an uprising against Rick. That is exactly what he Let us doing. agree to agree. Well, this is what Rick wanted. Well, this is what Rick wants us to do. How many times did he say that this episode? Like yeah. four different Ooh. times. He was like, Spencer. Spencer's punk ass. He keeps was like, throwing Rick on my the bus. mother. Yeah. You didn't hear him? He was like, my mother was the governor and mm. blah, 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 blah. And she took care of this and she did that. And Rick wants us to do it this way. And you're doing what Rick wants us to do. He is trying to cause an uprising mm -hmm. against Rick. Yep. And he's going to get his ass whooped. That's what's mm -hmm. going to happen. He better. He's or gonna get his ass or he's going to get killed by Negan's people because he's going to act like as if he's on their side. And they're going to be like, we don't, we don't want you. We don't want you, punk ass. Right. You turned on him. You're going to turn on me, we bitch. Kill his ass. Mm -hmm. That's what I think is going to happen. Uh, this okay. Next okay. What do you think? What I think? I think Father Gabriel. Oh, Lord. I forgot about him. I forgot he was in this episode. <laughs> needs to get. Wasn't he walking back or something? He needs yeah. to get gone. He did. He got gone. Him and Spencer 
You done with Gabriel as a, as a character? What do you mean done? The first episode I met that yeah. boy, I said, get out of the screen. When I've had a lot of issues yeah. with Gabriel. I've I had a hate lot that. Of I feel like he has he did redeem himself at at one point. No, I don't know. He didn't rede- he, he, There's a certain level you can't even have redemption for, and he did a lot. Of, we know he's dead he as AF. Up, yeah. We know Spencer's dead AF. Yeah. But that's all I really know about. What do you think about Olivia? Oh, who that? Olivia's oh, the, the oh, big girl. Oh, the one that Negan was like, I'm gonna smash your brains out if that's okay with you. <laughs> right, I'll screw your brains screw out. Screw your brains out. I'll screw your <laughs> brains out. And then she slapped the shit out of him. He was like, no, oh. he's more turned on, you fucking freak. There's something wrong with that man. Yeah. Obviously, there's something wrong with that Obviously, man. Obviously, yeah. So during our chat, though, it was brought up, because I think Judas should be gone, and it was brought up that, do we think that Negan would kill a baby? Hell, yes, he would kill the baby. Yes, he would. It has no, no line. There is no no boundary with him. Nope. I. You disagreed with me when I said that. I disagree with both of you guys because I believe. Do I think he's going to? That he needs to have a weakness, and I think that that child will be it. Even though he said I can bury all there and this, he don't really want to. That's a good call. Carl's a child. Everyone's got a weakness. He has to have. What do we think? How are we going to beat him if there's no weakness? What do we think Negan's weakness is? There's gotta be one, but I, mean, I think he's gonna try to use Judith that. against Rick. Well, that's but then obvious. He's not gonna really do nothing to Judith, and then Rick's gonna understand that, and then probably take her back. I don't know. Never mind, I'm reaching. Fuck me. Yeah, you are reaching yeah, a little I don't, bit. I don't, I don't think. I don't think so. I don't think I there's don't a boundary. Know. You ever seen Hercules when he was in the pit of souls and he was dying? Oh, yes. That's you. You're reaching. Oh Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we can all agree that this episode was filled with Fabulous. fucking good shit. Fabulous episode. Fucking good shit. Pretty Fabulous good. everything. It's um, pretty good compared to what and, we've been watching. Yeah, I mean, in contrast, yeah, it wasn't episode one, but it damn sure wasn't episode three. So yeah. <laughs> it damn sure wasn't that. Damn sure wasn't episode or three. Or four. Or five. Chris was over or like six. A- I wish. During episode three. So, um, but let us guys know. Let us. Let guys. us guys know that it, these guys. It could have worked. It could have worked. <laughs> I'm so drunk. Oh my goodness. Just let us know what you think. Or down here. They have me pinned. Y'all go ahead and Y'all have me pinned. Listen, end us, end us. I can't do my let us know now. I drank this whole (laughs) container of happy water. I had two full cups. This is my third. This is my third. I don't get it. Okay. And we YouTube chatted with some guys. And I had two beers beforehand. (laughs) I drank two cups of espresso. Anyway, let us know down below what you guys thought of this episode. This was episode seven. Sing me a song. Oh, we didn't even talk about the most important part. What do you think? You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Oh my God, yeah. He sang it horribly though. And give us a thumbs up if you liked our reaction and of course the review of this episode. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hello, thank you. <laughs> All right, well, I'm Justin DeJesus. I'm Tony Kapari. And I'm Christopher Millicent. And you've been watching Popcorn and Joysticks. Make sure you keep that popcorn popping. And those joysticks rocking. <laughs> <laughs>